I'm going to Neckbeard to keep my neck warm in the Budapest winter. The wife hates it. And I've suffered a, an injury in the forest. That goes on, eh? Okay, calculating enthalpy changes using the standard enthalpy change of combustion values. Annoyingly, it is reactants minus products. Pretty much everything else up to now has been products minus reactants. That's the way I teach it. This is reactants minus products. The proof of that is you have to do your own Hess cycle on Tata Battle, and then that's what pops out. Anyway, let's try a question. Calculate delta H standard for the reaction below using table 13, the combustion table, assuming all substances are gases and in the standard condition. So I've got ethene, a couple of hydrogens, and ethane. So this is table 13. So it has to be the combustion. This is a copyright IB. Alrighty, so ethene is here, and uh, hydrogen's there, ethane is there. <coughs> the gases aren't part of the definition, it's just in the table they're all gases. Delta H, C, theta, so that's going to be minus 1, 3, F1. Minus 2 back to 6 times 2. X minus, what's that, 1561? Then, uh, if you've got the time, you should probably write down the equation that you're using. Occasionally, there's a point for that. So now I'm going to have uh, minus 1301 plus 2516 minus 5561. That should be my answer. Hmm. Not too bad. Calculate the energy change when eight grams of hydrogen gas is used. Well, <clears throat> so I know that the molar mass of hydrogen is two grams per mole, and uh, it's eight grams, so that's going to be four moles. So four moles of hydrogen gas. I don't know how much energy that takes. So let's do some cross multiplication. I'm not sure how much energy that is, but I do know that two moles of hydrogen gas produces that many kilojoules. So I do know that 2.0 moles of H2 produces minus 392. 312 kilojoules. And you can just do simple cross multiplication. So that gives you uh, 8 grams of hydrogen produces uh, Minus 624 kilojoules. Simple cross multiplication. On to the next one. Heptane, seventh alkane, can be chemically cracked into pentane and ethene. It's 95 kilojoules for that. So we use table 13 and calculate the standard enthalpy of combustion of heptane. So I didn't put change there. Sometimes the IB forgets it as well. It's the same old, same old. So just use a bit of algebra. So you should remember from your organic that heptane is an alkane, and so alkanes have a general formula of CnH2n plus 2. So I'm going to have 7 carbons, and that's going to be 16 hydrogens. That's going to turn into pentane and ethene. Delta H for that is 95 kilojoules. And if I put the combustions underneath, just some simple algebra. So let's go along here. Uh, pentane is minus 3509. Ethene is minus 1411. 3509, 1411. Like this. I don't know what it is. It's going to be combustion, change of enthalpy of combustion of uh, heptane. 
Alrighty, so using the uh, same equation as the one above, So I'm going to have 95 equals change of combustion of heptane minus the products of what I produced. So 3509 minus 1411. So that's going to give me my answer is 95 minus minus of plus it's minus 3509 minus. There's only one of them the equation so it's kilojoules kilojoules per mole doesn't really matter okay let's see if that's right yeah this is for heptane and yeah there we go so not too tricky i think you'll agree you just have to remember it's reactants minus product